Hey guys, it's DC Reefer, and I want to welcome you guys back to episode 3 of the School Reef Tank. And today is the day that we add fish. Um, as you look here, we have two damsel fish. Got these guys from Pepco, so I know you guys, for the most part, pretty much hate Pepco. So, but um, from my understanding, Pepco now is owned by Live Aquaria, or Live Aquaria is owned by Pepco. And um, this particular Pepco, that's that's a new um, store that's built in Washington D.C. Um, and pretty good livestock. So, um, so if it, I, I thought about the cost, and you know, I could just get to it that easily. I said, why not? You know, damsels are relatively inexpensive. So, I went ahead and, and got these two damsels to start the reef tank. So right here you see I'm doing a drip acclimation and both dams are in the corner like they don't want to have nothing to do with each other even though they came from the same tank. So they like, you know, we appear when we get in the, the reef tank. Of course I left my my net and I had to scoop them guys up by hand, which is okay. Um, they don't have any venomous um, spines or they didn't really jump too much. You know, as soon as I scooped them, they kind of just laid there. I was like, okay, you got me. I'm ready to go. So, <laughs> so I scooped both of them up with my hands, and immediately they both took cover, which was to be expected. Um, anytime you acclimate a fish, they pretty much want to be in darkness, kind of get used to its surroundings and its new environment. Um, so these were the first guys added in, and I must say they're pretty cool. And I also got these guys to eat, so um, I thought that was pretty cool also. Fishy! Wake up! Wake up! Oh no! Quick, to the top of Mount Wanahakalugi! Like I'm the reefer man. <laughs> DC reefer. Oh, That's right. me. Nice to meet you, <laughs> nice to meet you too. Oh, they're gorgeous too. <laughs> what kind of one? They're called clownfish. Um, oh, I can see that. So, my second addition to the school tank had to be clownfish. I mean, come on, this is at an elementary school full of um, children and adults, but they all associate this hobby with the movie Finding Nemo. And the main character is Nemo. Um, I haven't watched the movie all the way through. I watched parts of it, but uh, I'm familiar with the movie and how it, it's pretty much the story plot. But I mean, as soon as the Everybody saw these fish, they said Nemo. Nemo and Marlin. Um, so that's the dad and the son. <laughs> so um, usually when you want to add fish to a reef tank, that you want to become a reef tank, you want to add fish that does a, a particular job. Um, they're called like utility fish. So some that eat algae, some that, you know, do particular job. That wasn't the case with this school tank. One, because of the size of it and because of the area that it's in. Because it's at an elementary school and you have to have clownfish. So These guys actually came from an established reef tank at my office, actually. And I did the dumb thing of adding two maroon clownfish because I thought, hey, the tank was big enough I could have multiple clownfish. That wasn't the case. Maroon clownfish are the most uh, ruthless uh, territory clownfish they are <laughs> so they kind of chase these guys around and um, I had to put them in the sump until I got ready to move them to, to this school tank which was actually perfect so that's the story on the clownfish and the livestock in the school tank I do plan on adding um, two more pieces of livestock maybe three at the most because I'm getting some requests but this is pretty much the biggest fish that's going to go in this tank because I want to keep it low maintenance and I don't want it to just go crazy with algae and other problems so there, there it is guys that's the livestock um, we have 
We have a total of four fish. I made a pair of clownfish and two damsels of the same kind. I don't know the exact name of the damsels, but um, they have like a, like a white and a yellow, um, that yellowish tint to them. They're pretty cool. And the clownfish, of course, I don't know if they're true percolate, percolate uh, clownfish or false peculiar clownfish. I don't know. I don't even know how to say the name, so. <laughs> but they're pretty much the standard clownfish, so.